today's video, we're going to be upcycling one of these barn fresh lampshades into an illuminated side table. We recently acquired these lampshades, or we believe they may even be heat lamps from it or for an incubator for, for little chicks. And we've been wondering what we could do. We think they're cool, they're aluminium. They used to sit like this, but we've had a few ideas what we're gonna do with it. And we think we're gonna make an illuminated side table. We're gonna make some wooden legs, get some LED lights in there, and maybe a glass or an acrylic top. We couldn't resist having a go at cleaning one up as soon as we got them. We wanted to see what they look like. So we've actually had a go at this. And this is the worst of the, the ones that we've got. It's really damaged here and it's got a few dings in it. We've given it a quick clean and it looks just how we want it to look. So we can't actually use this one for this project because uh, of this damage that we've got on the top there. Um, but yeah, we think they look just how we want them to look. So we ended up, the best looking one is this one. It's actually the dirtiest one. So hopefully it'll look like this. Let's get cracking, let's see if it does. So here we are down at the workspace. All we've got at the minute is a lampshade and an idea. Um, we're going to turn this into a side table. A bit of inspiration from Philip Stark Lemon Squeezer. A bit of a cool design and we feel that this <laughs> it's got like that 50s space theme look to it. Um, we got these for free so we've gone and spent some money on a piece of Iroko hardwood. Um, the amount, this was £40 for this length. The amount we're going to use it's going to be about £10 worth of timber so hardly anything. Um, but we've got to choose a design or a shape for these legs. So we're going to First thing we're going to do is draw out a few different designs and see which one works. We're going to draw them on the cardboard, cut them out, offer them up. In the end, we're going to have three legs, not four, three, I think is the, the way to do it. So yeah, let's just crack on and, and have a go at that. And then with one of these pieces, I'm going to spend time getting it to fit perfectly. Then I'll put this on the top of these rough cuts and we'll go around with the um, router and copy it so it's exact. But just for now, we'll get all three cut out roughly. So here we have cut one out and we just cut this one close to the line and I think we're really happy with that. 
So we'll go and cut the other two now and get them sanded up and have a look what it looks like in place. Right, a little update, we've finished the legs. We've given them a few coats of, uh, of wax as well. Three identical ones, all ready for going on there. We've drilled some holes in there, ready to take for these screws and washers. We've got this disc that we've cut out and that's just gonna fit inside there. And then we're gonna put some lights on top and some underneath to shine through the bottom. Um, we'll get them wired up. We'll not be using a transformer for this. When this is finished, we're going to send this off, or well, get an electrician to come in and wire this up for us, and they're going to wire it to an existing um, transformer that's on another light. Or you simply could get a battery operated set or 240 volt LEDs and do the same thing. Right, so now it's just time to get cleaning. We have already had a go at cleaning one of these, and what we ended up using was this stainless steel cleaner and a soft rag, we noticed that anything slightly with a grit in it is gonna scratch the surface and we don't wanna add more scratches. So even this dust that's on there, we're gonna go and blast that off first with the airline, then give it a clean. Okay, day two, we've had a few minor changes in our design, um, but we have also got this, we've printed this ourselves and we've got this ready. This is the top, um, the design that we've got, some jellyfish, it's gonna look great on top of there. But when we've seen this in situ, we've decided that what we're gonna do is change the color of the actual light. And we've got some paint left over from another job, that we're, so we're gonna key this, clean it up, prime it and spray it. You'll see us do that in a few minutes. On this top that we've got, this is a subsurface print on acrylic, we wondered whether we'd use glass, but for this situation, we're just gonna use this nice 10 mil acrylic that we've put a bevel on, and all this has been printed on the underside with this little bit of overlay of white, just to help stop the harshness of the light coming through. Uh, you'll see it in effect later on. And you can also see this being
Okay, so here we are. We've got this painted up now. It's had loads of coats of paint. It's had time to dry. Still a little bit tacky, but we're going to risk it and we're going to get these feet on. Um, just spacing them out the three feet equally. Okay, so here we are. All sprayed, legs are on. Looking great. We're really pleased with it. A few finishing touches now. We found this yellow film which you cut to size and we're just going to simply place that inside there and that'll illuminate as well. Gonna make sure that the joins up Ooh. so we don't see the joint. And now it's just a case for us. We've got this little disc with a logo on the Renovate Innovate logo. We're gonna place that in the bottom. We're gonna fix it in with some silicon and it's got a hole drilled in there for us to feed the power cable through. I'll we'll stick that in there in a minute. And we're just gonna simply stick these back onto this disc, place this disc inside, and then if we do think there's too much glare given off of these, I think we could put a diffuser sheet over the top. But we're gonna simply just wire these to this flat disc, place them in, and then you'll see it lit up. Right, so there we have it. We've got our lights in, just for the purposes of the video. We've just wired these up, gone back to the original lights, but we've just wired them up off a battery. When it gets in situ in its new home, it's gonna be wired in by an electrician and they're gonna run it to an existing transformer that is in the ceiling space. So, just now to get the top on. <gasps> Right, so let's just see how it illuminates with the lights off. So that looks amazing. And if you've liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps us out of the channel. We'll see you on the next one.